Good day all YouTube viewers, it's your logo on the camera, Dutchman, bringing you all a new video on the 5th DLC. And more, because we're not just going to cover the 5th DLC, but we're also going to cover my arsenal in this video, actually twice. And we're going to cover the Borderlands 1 community patch in this video. Starting off with the 5th DLC. What has been going on over there? Well, um... Progression has been made this past month, but mm, not too much, I guess. Let me first put out something a little bit like to put it into a, an understandable basket. Um, I've said it in the past that if my videos on YouTube have been lacking in um, consistency, so like maybe there's been two weeks between videos, or maybe in this case I think it's even more than a month since my last video upload, um, is because, you know, I'm being a game dev and it's being hard on me for being a game dev, you know, it's just I'm doing a lot of stuff and um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's busy, busy work busy 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 work being a game dev and like in my case being a game dev comes first and being a youtuber comes second you know I don't want to be a professional youtuber who makes uh, videos daily and makes his bread you know bread and butter from it I'm not that kind of guy I don't want to be a big youtuber I just want to be me I want to do my little Borderlands thing, and if I can make you guys happy with that, then it's fine with me. And I don't need to have like a, a more than 10,000 subs or something like Handsome Jackboy does. Anyway, enough about that. Um, fifth DLC, what has been going on? Well, last time I actually really, quote unquote, really worked on it was during that stream that I did um, a few months, a uh, few months, sorry, a few weeks ago. Um, where I, you know, worked on the Deep Cathedral. Between now and that last stream that I did on it, I did work a little bit on the DLC, like on uh, Heaven's Crown and on the Deep Cathedral, but not too much, just a little bit of tinkering here and there. Because, you know, like I said earlier, my time currently, or my schedule, has been really, cr just really, yeah, stuffed with things that I have to do. Um... But other than that, you know, progression that I have made, well, you've seen it on the stream, it was pretty pretty swell, and what I've done in my little between time between that stream and now has been alright, I guess, so not all too much for me this past month, but still working on it, you know, steady, steadily progressing, etc, etc. Um, Sling Master, um, that's a different case entirely. Um, like we've covered in the past, Sleepmaster, um, you know, took his, uh, he, he resigned from working at Amazon Poland, you know, where he became just like jobless, and now he's in a program from the Polish government where he is attending like sort of like a course to learn more about programming and becoming better at programming. But at the same time, this um, this government program uh, gives him not only that programming course, but also gives him his own, basically his own housing. He has his own crib now that is provided by the Polish government until he gets, you know, a new job, which hopefully gets derived from him completing this programming course. However, the problem with this programming course is that it's pretty harsh on him. It's pretty difficult, and he's got a lot to learn, and he's got a lot, a lot of catching up to do. And it's, it's, a, it's again, his time is being consumed by other things. He's still working on the fifth DLC, just not as much as he has hoped to do. Um, but hopefully, whatever he learns from the programming course that he's attending, he can um, apply maybe into the fifth DLC. Who knows? Whatever. But he's been kind of preoccupied with that. He's still working every now and then. It's just not as much as he has originally hoped to do. But so be it, I guess. Um... Swiftly moving on from the 5th DLC, because that pretty much covers the whole thing. Um, Borderlands 1 Community Patch. What you probably might have noticed in the, or just in the past few weeks or so, um, Borderlands 2 and 3 sequel, like the communities, have been flaring up over there. Because people have found ways to implement their own weapons and items into the game. It's not really 
100% create them from scratch. Basically what they're doing is they're grabbing existing weapons and items and they are just basically pushed through their own changes onto them. So they basically work from, for example, the grog nozzle or the pitchfork and they just change it to whatever they would like to change it to. So it's not, it is very limited in what they can and can't do with it, but they, they are exploring and they're doing a lot of stuff and um, Shadow Evil is pro probably the most prominent figure in this whole bunch because you know he's the guy behind the Borderlands well he's not the only guy but he's the biggest guy let's just put it that way behind the Borderlands 2 community patch and he's doing an awful lot of work for it and um, basically that has got me thinking like seeing all this community patching at work has got me thinking like maybe I should do something like this for Borderlands 1 as well um, some of you might have noticed that in the past I've made this weaponfix.upk file which basically fixes some of the broken vanilla legendaries and uniques. Uh, well, maybe not the uniques, but just legendaries and just one uh, epic or just, just a normal rarity weapon. Let's just put it that way. So like the, the Hyperion bitch uh, actually had is... Um, what was intended to have plus 50% critical hit damage but Gearbox fucked up on it and it doesn't do the or in the vanilla game it doesn't do that but however my patch addresses this and then the bit now the bitch actually when you have the patch applied the bitch actually does the plus 50 percent critical hit damage etc etc and i figured like i might as well grab what i've done in the past and actually make a full-fledged community patch out of it where i address actual broken things um you know in the game as much as i can so like maybe I was thinking about, for example, making the the the, the destroyer uh, respawnable and actually giving him a loot pool that is worth farming, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and it will differ from the Borderlands 2 slash the pre-sequel community patches because what I am actually striving towards is an actual patch, you know, like an official patch of like along the let's just put it along the lines an official patch because what. Um, the guys over at Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel are doing, they're using the console commands to basically execute any changes that they've made towards an existing item. However, every time you have to you boot up the game, you have to push through with these console commands. And what I want to do is I want to make, a, or at least my changes, I want to integrate them into the vanilla game. So all you have to do is just, just you, you download basically the patch, you install the patch, and then you forget about it because basically all the changes that I've made will be pushed through within the game. The game will take care of that for you. So yeah, that's going to be a different. However, do note that the fifth DLC is still the primary focus here, meaning that the whole Borderlands 1 community patch is a thing that I'll do on the side. Um, I've already been working on it a little bit uh, this past week. Not too much, but I've been preparing, you know, things and doing things with it, and it's pretty nice, I guess. But, um, hopefully I can do a lot more for it in the upcoming future, which is, you know, a nice prospect to look forward to, I guess. Um, what else do you need to know about a Fort Borderlands 1 community patch? Well, if you, you know, you watching out there, have any things that you know, like in Borderlands 1 that bug you, like, oh, maybe, uh, maybe this weapon is broken, or could you look into this skill from Brick that is not working? Because, for example, Brick's uh, rapid reload skill is actually not functioning correctly, and I'm actually going to address that in my community patch. But if you have any suggestions for this community patch, just don't be... Don't be afraid to just go into the comment section down here or into my uh, Borderlands 1 or just Borderlands uh, forum uh, post where I cover this uh, Borderlands 1 community patch. Um, I will like I will link that in the description box below as well. Um, just if you have any ideas for changes or fixes or, or nerfs or buffs or whatever, just let me know and I'll take a look into it. I'm not, I will not say, I will not promise that I will push your changes through. I will just look into it and if I think it is a viable thing to do or if I think it is reasonable, etc, etc, I will push it through. Um, enough about the Borderlands 1 community patch, on to my arsenal, because I've made some changes to my arsenal. Um, hopefully by the time that you watch this video, um, Salty Seabiscuit will have made a new installer out of the new patch that I've made, and um, by the time that is always, 
that 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 has been done this video should be online and the patch should be online but um, I made some big changes towards my arsenal a lot of things like this the probably the most prominent thing about this patch is that a lot of things got nerfed like pretty big time but probably the most prominent thing during this patch is we have a new commander in our midst the sticky well at least this is the spawner grenade that I made but Sir Salt we actually have a new mirrored commander in our midst which is commander Sir Salt there he is salty sea biscuit is now part of my myriad army and he has spawned with a black death and he's gonna piss off the entire map using that and he's successful with pissing off the entire map using that great job salty you really know how to spread the salt don't you Anyway, um, currently Salt or Commander Salt or Sir Salt, sorry, um, uses placeholder um, voice acting from um, Nine Toes. Yeah, Nine Toes. He's using placeholder voice lines from Nine Toes. Salty Sea Biscuit is actually working on a custom, yeah, custom voice acting for it. However, he is pretty keen on um, perfection, so he's taking his sweet time creating it, and he told me to get off his back and stop reminding him that he needs to do it but anyways he's pretty keen on doing this whole voice acting thing so he basically he, he was like you know what just push out the patch and I will up give you my voice acting once it's done so basically expect another patch in the near future hopefully where um, I update Sir Salt with um, new or just up you know custom voice acting as you can see he's using a top hat He's equipped with a top hat and equipped with a monocle because, you know, Salty Sea Biscuit is British and we wanted to capture the British, you know, we just ca capture British humor and just being British onto this myriad. So expect uh, command or Commander Sir Salt to be, you know, you know a down downright British Boston. <laughs> and this is going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I, I love the variety in, in like voice types and, and, and personalities like that. Anyway, um, enough about Sir Salt. Um, a lot of changes have been made through. Um, I actually kept track of all the changes that I've done. I've actually kept track of it using a proper patch notes. And these patch notes, you can view them on um, on the forum, you know, on my forum page where I go by my arsenal. You can see the patch notes that I've, been, that I've worked on. Um, Let's just say there a lot of stuff got nerfed. You might not like it. Like might not like too much of it, I guess. I don't know. It's up to you really. But anyways, um to summarize what has happened. Well, apart from me blowing the fuck out of myself like that, that wasn't the smartest thing to do in the world. Quickly kill Mo. There you go. Um, things that have been, like, I'm not gonna read through all the patch notes here, you'll have to do that yourself, but things that have been changed, a lot of changes have been, uh, brought to the Myriads. Good changes, like a lot of fixes, like animation fixes, AI fixes, have been uh, implemented into the Myriads, so look, look forward to that. The Criminal got nerfed, the Obliterator got slightly nerfed, the one shot got fixed and in, in some respects buffed. <laughs> I know, even more ridiculous, whatever. The thundercloud got buffed, uh, and I what I'm most proud of is um, the skin on the thundercloud is more thundercloudish. As you can see, it's more darker and just like you can see the lightning flashes roll over. It's not per it's not like flickering as much as it did before. Now it's more. Like, oh my god, there's a lightning flash in the background, and then it fades back to darkness again, and then you can see some thunder and, and lightning roll over the skin. It, it's it's pretty damn sweet to look at. There you go, you saw the lightning just cross over the gun. It's more thunder-esque. So, um, for example, uh, just a sec, uh, I just gotta brag here for a moment. Dave's Pineapple, you know, one of the guys behind um, a lot of patches and weapons and whatever that he's been making for Borderlands 2. He's been hailed as, like, the king of of skins or weapon skins. Uh, get good. 
you you're not like I, every time I see people go like Dave is best in weapon skins, I go like mm, 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 I'm not so sure. <laughs> nah, just kidding, Dave. We love you, and uh, you do make good skins, but you still have a lot to live up to, my friend. Anyway, um, enough about uh, poking, making fun out of Dave's pineapple. What else has been happening um, as in nerfs and, and buffs and everything? The Alexander Anderson has been has had a, res a significant nerf. The, the mercenary, where is she? This thing right here has also had a significant nerf. But, you know, they're necessary nerfs. Anyways, I will not skid into the details too much. I'll leave that up to you guys to read the patch notes and, get, you know, gain intel yourself about what has happened. Um, anyways, I think I'll leave it off with that. Oh! Most importantly, some people have, will have noticed that I have opened up the fifth expansion of weapons to my arsenal. Yes, I'm actually going to make more weapons for my arsenal. It's been requested a lot from people that they would like to see more weapons. And I will make more weapons for my arsenal. Oh yes, I will. But... Um, don't be too hasty, I guess. Don't be too hasty, because, um, um, like, I, I, I am gonna make, you know, more weapons for my arsenal, however, this will probably be, like, just like my Borderlands 1, uh, community patch, I'll do it when I feel like it. And, um, so this probably, the fifth, uh, expansion to my weapons arsenal will be probably the slowest of them all. That would probably be a couple of months before, you know, actual things and have been added and changed and whatnot. But, you know, just look forward to it. It's, it's gonna be nice, but it's not, I'm not gonna say, like, I'll have it done in the next few months. No, it's gonna take a little bit longer than that. But at least I'm working on it. So if you have any cool weapon I or I, uh, just if you have any cool legendary or pearlescent weapon ideas, just let me know. Just let me know either on the, in the comment sections or on the forum of my arsenal itself. Whatever, I don't really care. Just let me know and I'll take a look at it. Anyways, that will be wrapping it up for now. I hope I informed everybody on what has been happening with me personally and of course the Borderlands one modding community, let's put it that way, just the modern community in general uh, for Borderlands and I hope Why? I can... You don't want to play Pop Top? <laughs> nice. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. See you around.